Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. Last time we left off, we launched a full-scale assault on uh, Siren's base at Vermeer. Uh, unfortunately, Kaiden went off with Captain Kirahi and his team, got a bit pinned in, and we let off the nuclear explosion before we had a chance to get them out. We chose to save Ashley. Instead, we returned to her at the nuke, where Saren made a guest appearance and uh, sort of offered his explanation as to why he's doing what he's doing, basically to save himself from uh, destruction at the hands of the Reapers. As we see the empty space over there, <sighs> not that we're sad because we barely, I think we only spoke to him twice <laughs> throughout this whole campaign, so there we go. So before we uh, report back to the council, which we need to do because we cut them off mid-flow, because I'm sick of them and their blind ways, uh, we will need to probably start thinking about chasing Saren to Ilos, which is a long-lost Prothean planet, and that's a possibility of where the conduit is. Oh no! Looks like I might have been mistaken here. C Captain Kira, he's here! <laughs> so is it, is it just uh, a, a Kaiden that died? I don't know. Let's speak and see what's happening. Hello, Captain Kirahi. Good to see you on board. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. He knew what the risks were. Of course. A grim reality that every soldier must accept. Indeed. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. Ah, yes. You never know. You never know. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The Captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Glad I could help. Good luck, Commander Shepard. Well, enjoy the ship, won't you? She is a marvel, I'll tell you that. Okay, let's see if Tally's got anything to say. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? Nope. I should go. <laughs> See you later. Okay. Just making sure everybody's okay after the uh, re recent mission. Rexy, you got anything to say to me, brother? Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. Indeed they did. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander? About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. Williams, listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because of me. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance, but when I think of someone dying for me, if you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses in Torfin? We accept death when we put on the uniform, Chief. If you can't deal with that, retire. I could never do that. Not before and definitely not now. I have to be worth Caden's life. 
What's your opinion on the last mission? We've got a hard fight ahead. Fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over? I think the odds are against us. Odds aren't the whole story. Who'd think one shore party in a platoon of Solarians could take out a major base? I don't plan to lie down and die, Skipper. Don't worry about that. But I'm infantry. Against Reapers, my rifle may as well fire spitballs. I won't have a place in this war. That's what pisses me off, not being able to shoot back. Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. Dismissed, Chief. Sir. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. I've thought about what you said. This way, we'll know he'll never hurt anyone again. I'm glad you see it, though. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Uh, I just realized that I've been commentating into a muted microphone for the past five minutes. I do apologize. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. God, we've heard this before as well. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's the last person I'd feel sorry for. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. Yes, indeed it is. Well, I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. I'll clock off for now, Liara. Let's hope we can speak again soon. Yes, I uh, muted my microphone just prior to the conversation with Rex and uh, forgot to unmute it and carried on playing, so <laughs> you didn't miss me saying much. The odd quip here and there as per usual, but nothing major. I was mainly commenting about how Ashley, uh, how we're uh, softening up on Ashley a little bit just because of what happened in the last mission. Giving her a bit of leeway despite the fact that she can be a gobby cow at times. <laughs> so that's why I sort of picked the 
softer options if it were. Right, well, I think we need to press on with the main mission now. We've checked upon our crew, nothing left for us to do but to uh, head off to where I don't know. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. Ah. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his gap. Yes. About bloody time. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. <laughs> Back to the Citadel, then. My Good job, three Shepard. favorite Thanks people. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. <laughs> Excuse me? This is over? Stupid man. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. Oh, is that you right? Bastard. You're selling us out! Ah, too right. For once I agree with you, Ashley. For once I it's bloody agree. It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Oh, you snake. Ah. Liara, what a pleasant surprise. Oops. Commander. Shepard. I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. I showed them the truth and they still won't believe. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything. Everything. Instead they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I don't care if they ground me. But they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal, and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We lost the battle, not the war. I'll figure something out. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Yeah, Shepard, get a grip. You look a bit dejected there. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Oh. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you joking me? <laughs> oh my god. What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. You should probably go meet with him. Alright. But I'll be back later. Liara. <laughs>